Hey and welcome to my video. In this video we are going to talk about retouching plus size model. I wanted to touch this subject for a while and before we start I just want to tell you if you want to learn more about retouching check the links in the description. And starting there is few things of course when it comes to the face wrinkles and other spots the retouching is the same but when retouching uh, plus size models we might deal with more things like uh, let's say stretch marks and more shadows and when i see the magazines where we have plus size models those things are actually quite heavily retouched so those images often have actually more retouch um, than slim models and i'm going to show you how it is done actually or how to do it properly so of course we always start with empty layer when we clean this up so i'm just going to make the empty layer we're not going to do the cleaning but just to know the steps and the proper way of doing this is actually working with the light and this technique would be dutch and burn so i'm opening two curve adjustment layers one i'm going to name as the dutch and this layer on this layer will brighten certain spots and then i'm going to create another layer also curve adjustment layer and this one will be burn and this one will be darkening so i want to invert them because that's how um, we need to work on this layer we're gonna invert uh, to hide the effect and then uh, paint on them to bring that back the effect in the certain areas it's a quite small explanation but i have a lot of explanation of dodge and burn techniques in my courses as i said before and it would take really long time to explain this in details so these two layers i'm going to invert them to invert i'm pressing command or control and i and then when you paint with a white color brush on these masks as you can see we are able to bring the certain effect so on one layer is darkening and the other layer is brightening i'm pressing command and z to do steps back the key is to use soft edged brush i use my own soft edged brush in this case and you might have some issues at the start distinguishing this area. So of course, when we have some uh, massive differences, you can notice here that this area should be brightened a little bit. I'm lowering the flow to 5% because I want to paint softly. And then softly, I'm trying to paint on this. And there is small change. But as I said, it might be not that obvious at first, that's why. What I like to do is to go to hue saturation, desaturate this, change the blending mode to color, and then you can have a little bit better view. And if it's not enough, you can open curve layer and adjust the contrast. And the more contrast you apply, of course, it allows you to see a little bit more. And depending where you work on this, you can adjust this layer or create even more layers. It's important to understand that these two layers is just help layers. This black and white is not any sort of effect I want to apply. And then, as I see everything clear, I'm going to paint those darker spots a little bit, those shadows which are a result not necessarily of the stretch marks but uh, that's probably called cellulite and I'm just softly painting over parts that I want to be softened and this is actually the technique that is used to retouch this sort of things this is the technique used for every sort of retouch it's also in the beauty retouch um, which I teach a lot. It, Beauty Retouch contains usually the uh, biggest number of the information. And if someone was wondering, there was uh, the cover last year. I believe it was Cosmopolitan with uh, plus model, plus size model. 
and I noticed her arms, her legs were looking uh, rather soft. So this is the way how to do it and it's very non-destructive and can be misleading later because it will look very natural. So it will not look like like it was retouched, something was changed here, but the result will will be very natural and it will all look like that's how it is. So I'm going to brighten here because I want to retouch here of the biggest number of these marks here. So I'm going to take mainly take her mainly on this of this area. And you'll be able to see the difference. So I'm going to retouch for a few minutes more. And after that, uh, I think it should be enough. Of course, other models also would require these techniques. So you see, but in different in different ways, he will have stretch marks. He will have um, some also imperfections. So this is very multitasking technique. We can do a lot of things by that. And if you retouch plus size model, avoid the technique like uh, frequency separation for sure, because in the in this case it will look very unnatural and the image will look very filtrated. So the worst case to use frequency separation will be um, plus size models. I already see it looks better. I don't want to overdo it because uh, I don't want it to look strange. A little bit more here. And here. For sure, a little bit of work of the bat to uh, give it slightly better perspective. I often do it retouching uh, bikini models. So working a little bit on the touch and burn technique in those regions will give really nice perspective sometimes um, might give impression of like extra curve which is very nice okay let's let's have a look at our image now it should be first still with this layer you can see massive difference I'm gonna dar darken a little bit here. I didn't work much with a burn, so few touch-ups with a burn. You can turn this off and you can see this is before and this is after. I can make a group, so I select them then both, Command or Control and G before and after. Huge difference and the technique might be a little bit difficult at the very start but once you get used to working with the tablet and once you get used to using this technique it uh, will be very simple. So if you ever wonder how are the plus size models retouched on the covers um, that's the technique touch and burn and often a lot of use of that in burn. Um, I'm speaking about this example of Cosmopolitan. I could notice uh, quite uh, quite a use of that and burn. So I hope this lesson was helpful. Uh, let me know what you think and let me know uh, why would you like to see uh, next time. Thank you.